Hello, I'm your host, Ricky Saez. There's so much happening in the city of El Paso, but let's begin with the pandemic. The public health department, along with other medical experts, have been pushing these three items the last few months. One, get vaccinated if you haven't already. If you have one dose, make sure you get the second. Two, wear a mask indoors, even if you have been fully vaccinated. Three, get tested for the virus, especially if you've traveled outside of El Paso. Now, the public health department says doing these three things protects our community and it helps in the fight against the virus. You can find out more information on the virus, including testing sites and vaccination locations by visiting epstrong.org. In other city happenings, the Mexican American Cultural Center took one giant step in becoming a reality in El Paso. The city council showed its support of the project by moving forward with the construction of the facility. Council awarded the construction of the project to El Paso-based Sun Construction. The MAC, as it's referred to, will celebrate Mexican-American culture along our border with the use of exhibitions, performances, culinary programs, and a recording studio, and much more. It will be co-located with the main public library downtown. The library itself will see extensive improvements. Construction is set to begin this fall with a completion date set for 2023. Our city is still dealing with the effects of rainstorms this summer. So far, the city has spent more than $650,000 on cleanup and repairs. City streets and maintenance crews continue to work around the clock repairing damages in different parts of town caused by the flooding. Heavy rain damaged streets, medians, sidewalks, parks, and trails. Crews are doing the best they can to repair damages, but it will take some time. We have this plateman of asphalt, uh, sheets of asphalt has been come off of the roads. Uh, we have broken uh, concrete curb and gutter. Uh, we have a lot of erosion on parkways and a lot of erosion on our medians. Aside from repairs, city crews are now catching up on cleaning medians and getting rid of weeds in city-owned properties. This too is going to take some time. I just wanted just to mention uh, so everybody knows uh, the process. I mean, it, it takes some time for a herbicide to take effect. It usually it takes a couple of weeks. Uh, so if you see weeds and you see us spraying them, I mean, it's going to take a couple of weeks for us to go and, uh, and pick up that uh, weeds. Residents can call 311 if they see weeds or streets that need repair. The El Paso Fire Department held its annual 9-11 ceremony to honor the firefighters and others who died in the World Trade Center attack. It took place at Fire Station 18 that has a permanent 9-11 memorial site. The ceremony included a gun salute, a moment of silence, as well as speeches from Fire Chief Mario D'Agostino and Mayor Oscar Leeser. The El Paso International Airport is celebrating its 93rd birthday this month. Staff held a small celebration with a few passengers. Red T. Hawk, the airport's mascot, also made an appearance. The airport has gone through incredible expansions and renovations throughout the years. The award-winning airport serves millions of passengers each year. The El Paso Zoo and Botanical Gardens has a new website. The renovated site has a new, more attractive look. It's more user-friendly and has more information and fun facts about the animals that call the zoo home. The site adjusts for desktop viewing, tablet, and mobile devices. And there's an event at the zoo that you don't want to miss. The Chihuahuan Desert Fiesta is happening two days in September, the 25th and the 26th. The event hopes to teach visitors about our desert eco-region. The first day will be at the zoo from 10.30 in the morning to 3 in the afternoon. The second day's events will consist of educational guided hikes from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. all at the Tom Mays unit of the Franklin Mountain State Park. You can find schedules for both days and fee information on the El Paso Zoo Facebook page. If you're looking to live a more active lifestyle, then Live Active El Paso has a bunch of free physical fitness classes available this month. There's Zumba, yoga, water exercise classes, bike rides, and line dancing, just to name a few. They're Monday through Saturday in different recreation centers across the city. All you have to do is visit Live Active EP on Facebook or liveactiveep.com for a list of fitness classes. The Joker, Batman, the Predator, and the Ghostbusters team, those are just a few characters that made a visit to the Sun City recently. Your City in 5 media specialist Jose Solis takes a look at this year's El Paso Comic Con. Obi-Wan Kenobi from the first movie. This is his hilt from the first movie. So we brought in more people from 80s, older generations. We had Adam West here before. And then our local heroes are 
Ghostbusters, Batmobile, stuff like that. I like it. It's like, um, I don't know. It's fun to see all the costumes and stuff like that. Seeing your characters like actually like real people. So I, I, I don't know. I like it. <laughs> Sorry. The event is just to bring the community together to show them that other generations can enjoy everything, even if you're not of the same age. And just come where you can buy, meet uh, celebrities, meet local artists, meet artists from our local area, Albuquerque, Las Cruces. Everyone comes in and just enjoy themselves as a one community. I mean, it's great. Everyone here is just trying to have fun. Everyone here has the same idea, same goal. Everyone's here for the same reason, so everyone's just having fun. To me, it seems like a glue. Like, that's why I came dressed up, because uh, it's just like a, like, I like a certain thing and then like everybody else, like, they don't, may, maybe they don't like the exact same thing, but they like the genre. And I don't know, to me it's like a glue, like, it's nice to see the group of people come together. Anakin Skywalker was weak. I destroyed him. That looks like it was a lot of fun. Thank you, Jose, for putting together that video. And that's gonna do it for us on this edition of YC5. For Jose Solis, who's actually behind the camera, I'm Ricky Saias. Stay safe and please be good to each other. We'll see you next time on your City in Five.